بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وأسأل الله تعالى أن ينفعني به والمسلمين آمين يا رب العالمين وأسأله سبحانه للإخلاص والثبات على سنة نبيه صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب continuing on in our study we already mentioned and just very briefly this is the third lesson in looking at this very beneficial treatise uh, the third lesson in just we're, we're only studying the conclusion just a brief, making it something brief that we can digest and that we can benefit from. And we mentioned from these eight principles, the first uh, four principles, and the first one being that we take, uh, that the Salaf, they took their religion from the Quran, the Sunnah, and the Ijma, the consensus. And the second principle being that everything, that everyone who differs with the Salaf in taking their religion from those foundations is an innovator or a person of desires. And the third principle is that there is no consensus which is codified like the, con the consensus of the, uh, the Salaf of this Ummah, meaning the Sahaba and the Tabi'een rahimahumullah and the Ittiba'a Tabi'een because they are the Qurun Mufaddala. They're called the Qurun Al-Thalitha Al-Mufaddala, meaning the third of the three uh, righteous generations or preferred generations or however you'd like to translate it. They are the pious predecessors whenever we refer to the Salaf of this Ummah. And that name also comes from the, it, it has a Mustanid Min as it comes from the Nasus, it comes from the text. It comes from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which you'll find in Sahih Muslim, I believe, this hadith, where the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Khairan nas qarni thumma ladhina yulunuhum thumma ladhina yulunuhum. That the best people is uh, my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So that lets us know that is the Qur'un al-Mufaddala. Those are the three generations. And the term here uh, that, that was used is ما كان عليه القرون الثالثة المفضلة showing us that this name is coming from the text and then the fourth thing uh, the fourth qaida was that the jama'ah is uh, the foundation of the jama'ah is what the sahaba were upon and we already mentioned the deal from the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam pertaining to that. Moving on to the fifth qaida, al qaida al khamisa Kulu mas'ala, kulu mas'ala tashtaharat muwafiqataha lil kitabi wa sunnati wa lijma'i tu'uddu aslin min usool ahl sunnati wal jama'a. So this is the fifth principle that he mentioned, half of Allah Ta'ala, and he said that every issue every uh, prominent or well-known issue uh, is in accordance or in agreement so every issue, every well-known issue, uh, which is in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah and the Ijma, is uh, considered the found a foundation from the foundation of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, the people of the Sunnah and the Jama'ah. So, letting us know that that's how we, when we say our Asul, and someone asks you what your Asul is, or you know what, what your Minhaj is, or what have you, your Aqidah, 
and you say it's the minhaj of the salaf or it's the minhaj of ahl sunnati with jama'ah or the minhaj of ahl athar or the minhaj of ahl hadith or whatever you say or I'm Sunni or what have you all of this this usul and these foundations they are taken and in, in agreement with the Quran and the Sunnah and the Ijma, meaning that that's where our usul comes from. That anything that is a famous when we talk about these issues that we say Salafis are united upon, all these issues come from the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. They're, they're not nothing, anything new. We can't bring something new. We can't say, you know, they, ha they have to be some, they have to come from these uh, these masail that they as far as being the usul of the religion the usul is is it's already uh, our foundation is already codified for us and it's it's already established for us in the Quran in the Sunnah in the Ijma and that's what makes up the usul of Ahl Sunni with Ahl Sunnati with Jama not uh, something else we can't come up with something new. And say that this is our a new usul, a new foundation in the religion, because it's already been codified for us from those sources that we've already mentioned. Then he mentioned Hafidullah Ta'ala, Al Qaeda Tasadisa, Mukhalafatu Aslin min Usul Ahlu Sunnati wal Jama'a Bida. So this is very important. And and then what follows it is another mas'ala, and so we'll go right into that mas'ala after this. He said that the sixth uh, principle is that differing with a foundation from amongst the foundations of Ahlus Sunnati wal Jama'ah is bid'ah. So, for example, someone who from the usul of Ahlus Sunnah is that we believe that iman fluctuates, that our iman raises with uh, with doing good deeds and it decreases with doing bad deeds. So sinfulness lowers our iman and righteousness raises our iman. That's from the usul of Ahl Sunnah. If someone comes and they say, they, as many sects have from even the early, uh, during the time of the uh, tabi'een, or tabi'a tabi'een, there were those people who innovated in this aspect. Some of the people, the the uh, some of the various sects that came in, especially after them, began to deviate with regards to this usul. This is a foundation. This is a usul principle, which is well established from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu and the understanding of the Sahaba But then later, people came and they began to question that and say, "Well, I believe that iman." is constant. So everyone is a believer as long as he says la ilaha illallah, shadow la ilaha illallah, wa shadow Muhammad Rasulullah, even if he does no actions. So some began to say that uh, actions do not enter into iman. So this was irja. And this irja contradicts the, uh, a foundation from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. So Ahl Sunnah is united on that faith fluctuates and that iman is a part of uh, I mean, uh, that uh, actions are a part of Iman. So the person who differs with that asul says, no, uh, actions are not a part of Iman. I can just say la ilaha illallah and I can do anything I want and my Iman is the same and it's still a, a mu'min. I'm very high in Iman. You don't know my heart. This person has fallen into an innovation. And in the next sitting, we'll talk a little bit more in detail about this same principle, but we'll end it and keep it short here. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.